Hello friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington and today we're playing more of Cookie Run Oven Break. So they have the new summer update. Last year was Yogurka and the year before that was the pirate and um, squid ink cookie uh, battle. So this year we have Captain Ice Cookies Daily Gifts. Never thought of having an iced cookie because usually you bake cookies and then they get heated in the oven and cooked. <laughs> I mean, they're not they're not browned until they're like burned like they are in uh, the game. They're just they're just lightly cooked enough to be solid as opposed to like zombie cookie who is not finished cooking. But even then I would never really think to put ice on a cookie unless like I'm eating iced coffee with a cookie and then I dunk it in said iced coffee and then the ice gets on the cookie. Either way, still cool. So we're going to collect our daily gift. I don't know how long I can do this because I don't know how long my father will be out. So I'm going to, as usual, I promise to try and not lollygag, but that never happens. Oh, also, um, Mole Maniac had another one of uh, his videos, the Cookie Run Eerie, or this, the Cookie Run facts that we know already that are kind of creepy, which is stuff that I love about this game. That made it onto this, um, whatchamacallit? This little community tab is Way of the Cookie Full Story by Squire Gaming, featuring me memes. So yes, yeah, Squire Gaming and Mole Maniac are always the ones who end up getting on here, uh, which is cool. Squire Gaming is like the number one cookie run YouTuber or such. So we have new notices of stuff. Um, improving Improvements to download mechanics. Oh, cool. Neat. Okay. Anyway, so for this update, turns out, I guess, um, I myself included, I guess they just didn't make it very easy to figure out that you could actually withdraw the rainbow co cubes, cubes from the piggy bank event. It, it, at first it looked like it was just the points, um, and it was like a pitiful amount of rainbow cubes that you'd get. But no, it's actually a cash back event. And then you also, if you spend a certain amount, will be able to get the different tiers. Now they made these tiers of prizes insanely high. Uh, Cause I spent over like three rainbow cube draws and was not able to get the first tier reward, which was just a couple of spirit potions. So they expected you to spend way more I mean, even if you paid for that much, that is still an obscene amount of rainbow cubes that you would need to just get the first most basic reward from it. So most people didn't even reach the first reward tier. <laughs> Unless, of course, you spend so much money on this game that it would be just mind-boggling how much you would have to spend. Uh, but even if you spend a lot of money on the game, it would still be a difficult tier to reach. Um... But it turns out it was a cash back event. So any rainbow cubes that coob, I did it again. Cubes, cubzo and the two strings. Anything that you get back, uh, essentially for every six rainbow cubes, you get one rainbow cube back. Um, so I was able to withdraw that right before the event closed, uh, but I only found out right before the event closed. Um, I actually had spent uh, more rainbow cubes on a draw because I realized, oh hey, this is a, a cash back event. That means I could get more of the cubes back. Um, so it was worth it to do the costume draw then. So I was able to get back a, a reasonable amount um, of rainbow cubes. So I was okay with that. And here, because a lot of people didn't realize that, they're being nice and then um, giving people the rainbow cubes if you just missed it. Finally, at last, we have the update for Sea Fairy Cookie, and we get to go to her tower, which was added into the trophy race. You can see her tower in the background of one of the areas. Um, there's some extra balance changes, I guess. Touch displays from the bamboo, yada yada. Adventurer. Interesting. Change. Oh, wow, so you're constant at the same speed when you're swinging on the rope instead of going faster. Uh, peak height of an extra jump to double jump and hold the slide button. Moonlight changed the number of star powder jellies to remain constant. Interesting. Coco, 
prevented the uh, prevented a fixed an error that prevented the cookie's ability from activating when starting a run without a magic candy. Oh, interesting. Herb cookie, more herb cookie, even more lots and lots of herb cookies. Uh, things have been fixed. Oh, did herb cookie get a buff? I don't know. Squid ink changed them to prevent them from falling into holes. That's nice. Number of fish to be more constant. Yeah, salt cookie I think is going to get a buff soon. The Divine Guardian Shield will show a count of how many shields remain. Oh, thank goodness. I'm all running. Um, magic Candy Slots. Yes, this is another cool thing to the update. Um, now Magic Candies can have two Blessing Slots, which is awesome. Um, what's not awesome is they must be upgraded to level 5 before applying the Blessings. So it has to be maxed out before you can get the Blessings, which is not cool. Somebody had recommended on Twitter that it would be better if you had one slot unlocked when you get the magic candy at, like, level one. And then if you get it to level five, you unlock the next slot. Because there's plenty of people who have, like, level four magic candy. Because they, they, they spend so many crystals to try and get it to level five and it doesn't work that it doesn't really feel worth it to them. I use the magic powder and then I use the breakout rewards to get... Uh, the magic powder on the days where you get 3,000 for 450. So this way I'm able to stockpile it so I can use it on magic ingredients, which is a tip for anybody who needs that. Um, so I don't, I tend not to spend that many crystals on the magic candies. Uh, but yeah, it's, that is, that's just, that's not cool. Cause now you're going to have a ton of these tickets that you can't use on most cookies I hope they fix that. I really hope they, they adjust it in the future. But I am for the two magic candy slots, which is cool. Now, I don't know if you can get, like, destruction points up and then another destruction points up. Or if it's only, like, per type, one of each, and then you get um, something else. So you can either double up on one ability or uh, have two different ones. That's interesting. That also will change... Um, scores. That'll increase the power creep a lot. Um, which is, it, it's interesting because this basically is just a way that increases the power creep, but does so for the more dedicated players to the game as opposed to just introducing a new strong cookie. Um, which is interesting. So I hope they fix this, though, so that blessings are... You, you can get one blessing from level, like, 1 to 4, and then at 5, then you get an extra bonus, which is nice. Um, improvement. Breakout saved combis have a reset button. Oh, nice. Magic lab. You can tap the left corner. You'll return to your last save scrolling position. Finally! I hated how it always goes back to the top. I'm so glad they finally fixed that. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. On off for the trophy va race vibration thing. My phone's vibration motor already broke, so it does. I haven't been able to get any of those anyway. Animation that appears when the blessing can now be skipped by tapping on the screen. Well, that makes it a little. I imagine that it was already. I guess maybe you can just skip it even more. Random jelly paths that appear at breakout special episode one. Interesting. So yeah, that is the update for right now. And I've been I've been behind. I basically missed the entire cookie event on screen, but not off screen. I was able to beat the rumble, which is why there's a panda in the background. So we missed that. I'll probably try and go back through a number of these cookies descriptions since I missed a number of them some other day when I'm less pinched for time. But right now we're gonna look at Ice Captain Cookie, uh, Captain Ice Cookie. There is no room for error on the sea. Excuse me, I'm giving her... I, my, my Princess Peach voice has basically spun off onto a separate voice, which is what I call the Monica voice, because that's what I used in the Doki Doki mod playthrough. So, Princess Peach is a different voice, while Monica is this instead. It's, it, one of them is a little bit more monotone. So that that's that's the difference. So I'm gonna use that voice for ice ice captain cookie captain ice cookie. I keep switching those around. Defeats pirates with her ship, the Ice Piercer, which is opposite of the movie Snow Piercer, which was a train. 
boards the ice spearer at certain intervals. I guess she, like the sea captain, are against the pirate cookie. Uh, I mean, salt cookie and her are against pirate cookie because they fight pirates that are frozen over? Interesting. The jump and slide become aim and fire. Ooh, I have yet to use her, by the way. Um, use it to aim... Successfully aiming and destroying the pirate ships will increase the, sh the ice shrapnel jellies. Firing at pirates will also create ice shrapnel. Level up for more points of whatever. Okay, check out the story. Way anchor! Hoist the sails! All hands! Not on deck, but to your stations! With a single wave of her arm. Get it? Because they're on the waves. A thunder... I mean... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, the thunderous roar of cannon fire fills the air. Get it? Fire and there an ice. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, from the, the helm, Captain Ice Cookie keeps a cold gaze on the horizon. Get it? Because of gaze? <laughs> Wait, that's not the right word. Her cloak fluttering in the sea breeze. Her demeanor and discipline inspire many, and it seems that the waves freeze in place to salute her. Of course, that would be impossible. Her, with her large amounts of never-melt never ice in her dough, just like the Pokemon item, due to her superior tactics, the ship Ice Piercer has earned a Monica Invincible. <laughs> She has never melt ice in her dough, so she's like Olaf with the permafrost in Frozen 2, and the end of Frozen 1. Sorry, spoilers for Frozen, but also it's Frozen. Most people tend to know it by now, so I don't feel too bad about that. Sorry, Olaf lives at the end of Frozen 1. Um, she may be a no-nonsense cookie, but seeing a child cr cry brings out an abundance of warmth as she attempts to comfort them with a promise to escort them home. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Oh, yes, they also added in a new feature where you can favorite stuff. You press the little star on top, and then you can favorite them, which is awesome. So I have to go... Hold on. I have to go do this with more cookies. But we gotta... I mean, we have to... We have to do this right away. This is this is imperative. We, we, yes, we are. We do have to stop the stream for this. This is important. Uh, and then you over here. There we go. The entire stream must stop because I haven't done this yet. We have to favorite cocoa and mint choco. I mean, the, we we have to. Hold on. Gotta keep going. The others I'm going to also favorite. I'm going to favorite the specials. Where There you are. There's Mint Choco. Here we go. I shall perform until dawn. Yes, you will. Okay. There we go. All's well that ends well. I'll, I'll do the rest of the other stuff later. All right. Oh, wait, we don't want to do that yet. We want to go to the events. Set sail, Tower of Frozen Waves. Right now, only Ice, uh, Captain Ice Cookie is out. And I think um, we'll get a buff to Peppermint, maybe? And then and a trial, possibly? And then we're going to get Sea Fairy later. Arrest ye! Arg me, mateys! There's a little... Uh, there's a jelly bug in the left corner that has a party hat on. Arrgh. Also, uh, look at all these ghost pirates. They all died. Also, I believe in Yogurka didn't Pirate Cookie die, so I guess he can just come back to life again like normal. Interesting. Oh, and they have meat jelly. Neat. That's a thing that's in this world that's reoccurring. Um, in both Dino Sour and Tiger Lily's thing. They, they're, they're meat jellies. I be hearing whispers, oh, where treasure lay? Her grand treasure be resting arr, at the top of the Tower of Frozen Waves. Captain Pirate Cookie, that's amazing. You're the best at gathering info. But the Tower of Frozen Waves is protected by Sea Fairy Cookie. Ah! 
there was a dot, 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 and an exclamation point. That's what that was. Mock! Your old treasures will be mine! Let's set sail! Let, let's get ready to set sail! Ka ha ha! Arrgh. Also, you can see on the corner there, there's the adorable, um, whatchamacallit, shark cookie or something, uh, which is an adorable NPC, possibly? They keep adding in so many cute NPC characters, but they're not playable. Hopefully they'll bring back these events and then they'll be playable cookies in the future. Ooh. Quiet ye lollygagging sorbet shark cookie! Oh yeah, that that's the name. Perfect. Keep up now! Yar be me! Like, you're like that kid in Treasure Planet, and I be like your father. Yar gar, 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 gar. That makes the crab morph. Halt, pirate cookie. Hmm, that voice. I imagine that's Ice Captain Cookie. Yep, there we go. <laughs> They're all running. Oh. <laughs> mm. Sorry, my voice failed me there. The lost cookie she just sco uh, scored home. Of course it's Peppermint Cookie. I don't know why I didn't think that immediately. Of course. That's sweet. Okay. Gah! Pirate uh, Captain... I uh, Captain Ice Cookie! Yar, I be forgetting your name. Where ye be hiding? Your habits are easily surmised. You have nowhere to run, so come quietly. <coughs> <laughs> Arr, I be breathing in me own spit. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> my name don't be Navy Cookie, so your orders mean nothing. Make a run for it, mateys. Uh, escaped again. Wow, it's amazing how fast their pirate ship can just instantly go away. Phew! That is one fast pirate ship. I knew the Navy should have... We, we, we should have upgraded in the super fast pirate engines. Drat. <laughs> you won't get far. Chart a course for the Tower of Frozen Waves. I can sense that he was over there, even though he didn't mention that he was going there. I'm using my ice powers. Ooh. Oh, a straggler. But no one can be... This slow. Oh no, Sorbet Shark Cookie! Sorbet Shark Cookie is so cute. I love him. Look, look at that baby face. I love. Woo! Woo! What's this noise? Bubbles? I have no idea what you are saying. Oh, he's making bubble sounds. That's the sound that shark, Sorbet Shark is making, in my mind. This cookie said, I was always a slow runner. Oh. Peppermint Cookie, how is it that you understand this cookie, little one? The conch. I put it up to my ear. I can hear words in the bubbles. <laughs> Will I ever get married? Maybe someday. <laughs> May I have something to eat? No. May I have something to eat? No. May I have something to eat? No. Can't you say anything else but no? Try asking again. May I have something to eat? No. <laughs> He's holding the magic conch. A literal magic conch. <laughs> like from Spongebob. You just wanted to explore my ship. And yet here I am getting... <laughs> I'm glad the rest of that word spelled out. <laughs> Otherwise that would have been a completely different sentence there. Assistance from you. Thank you, darling. That's so sweet. Aw. I'm glad I can help. And thank you for letting me board your ship. It's like a giant whale. Except I don't have to live inside it. But I prefer being on top of it. Luckily, that we're not we're not going down that route. 
That's not, that's, not, that's not how we roll in oven break. Maybe in the, uh, well, actually, not in cookie roll oven break. Possibly in the original oven break. That, that, uh, that, that stuff, that stuff was whack, yo. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Peppermint, that's the first time I've heard you try and be hip. I never want to do it again. It scared me. <laughs> you, so Shark Cookie. Was it? <laughs> Tell us what you know about the Tower of Frozen Waves. I guess I'm also... I'm British Monica now. <laughs> oh... These bubbles are words, too. I'm still new at being a pirate, and I don't know anything. <sighs> never mind. Excuse me, never trust a pirate. For now, you shall be detained until Pirate Cookie is apprehended. <laughs> Running away like Captain Zoidberg. <laughs> oh, um, you're mean a... Excuse me. Oh, wait, wrong voice. <laughs> You're meaner than Pirate Cookie. Scarf. Ugh. Ooh, there's the Tower of the Frozen Waves. It looks like that island in Wind Waker. A little bit with the icy pathway. And now we're on a ship. The Brady Bunch. I don't know why. I guess Ice Captain Cookie also captured the Brady Bunch because <laughs> she thought they were pirates. Our course took us through some rough waters, but we finally made it through the Tower of Frozen Waves. Uh, I mean, she Monica is also a 1930s paper boy, not necessarily British. Maybe English. I don't know. Where did Sorbet Shark Cookie wander off to? Down into the cabin. Something about getting far away from the water. A pirate who's afraid of the, the sea. Now I've seen everything. Get it? Seen everything? Ah, uh, I am master of puns. Is that it is? Pirate ship dead ahead. Drop anchor. But not you, my little friend anchor. You can stay. We're going to apprehend the, the, the crime on the seas. We must hurry to the top. Once there, we will lay an ambush for Pirate Cookie. What purpose does this shell serve? Oh, that looks like the shell that um, used to have the little beads before they changed it to... Um, before they changed it to the light spheres and breakout. There is also a pearl with some form of symbols on it as well. <laughs> So Bay Shark Cookie says that it's a story. In the deepest, darkest deep depths lies hidden the brightest of all. Is that some kind of code amongst the pirates? How is it you understand these symbols? Are you too a pirate? Do I have to arrest you? Oh, um, I don't know how I can read this. Maybe Sea Fairy Cookie left it here. How intriguing. Why would Sea Fairy Cookie leave behind something of this nature? And only Sorbet Shark Cookie can read it. Maybe it's to stop anyone from entering. That only one person can read. Your words ring true. <laughs> Perhaps only those who are aware of Sea Fairy Cookie can reach the top of the tower. I think so too. This might be something called a memory fragment that once belonged to Sea Fairy Cookie. Uh, my father is getting back home, so I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. If any, if another fragment is found upstairs, there's no doubt about it. Come, we must ascend the tower. Oh, good, that was the end. Whoops, I tapped the screen, but too fast. So a big shock cookie says we have to go up to find a memory fragment. Could it be, uh, this pearl be a memory fragment? Oh, hey, that, that looks like the entrance to the, uh, rainbow mines. 
One fragment is needed to open doors, but we need to reach them first. All hands collect memory fragments and apprehend pirate. This must be some significant to collecting them all, like Pokemon. Okay, that's it. We're good for now. All right, friends, I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up, and bye.